Welcome. We're glad to have you here and glad to have your uh, traveling companion with us. And um, you, more importantly, we, we're, we're glad to welcome you to the uh, Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute. As you know, this is a world-class facility filled with world-class people sure. who are doing some of the most important work uh, done in this country. Um, but uh, Governor Justice and my friends in the legislature, and certainly we have we have the speaker here, we have Senator Oliverio here. I want to thank you uh, for adding this important investment to the recent special session. So I, I thank all of you. I really appreciate it. Before I introduce Dr. Azai, who is uh, sitting here, I want to take a minute to reflect on our personal friendship, Governor, if that's all right. Uh, eight years ago, you became governor. You don't have to reflect real long on this. <laughs> I'm teasing. Go ahead. <laughs> No, good. No, we, we had a hell of a run. How we, does that we sound? Have had okay, a heck there of a we run. go. Uh, because, the, the, because of your leadership and, and the investments that you have made, um, the state has made tremendous progress on eco economic development. And you have been a real champion for higher education. Last year, you approved $50 million for the WVU Cancer Center, right. uh, which will allow us to make a real dash for distinction to become an NCI designated Cancer Institute, one of the one of the most important designations in this country. We also received, by the way, thanks to that investment, we received $50 million from the Ruby, from the Ruby Trust. Um, you also gave us $50 million, uh, thanks again to the legislature and the governor for deferred maintenance issues on our three campuses. And this year, as you know, the federal government has totally failed us in terms of FAFSA. But um, you and the legislature stood up and helped us make certain that students in West Virginia had the resources to be able to come sure. to, your, to our universities and colleges. And this month, you and the legislature adopted a funding form that put us on the path to success. So we thank you for your partnership and to show our appreciation. We have something very, very special. I often refer to you as coach, but uh, today you're our cue player. So bring this thing over here, guys, oh, okay? So there we go. Hello. Hello. So, Governor, you know you're the 36th governor, and we thought that uh, having this uh, as, a, as a memorial of oh. your support for the university, your support for the state, and your, and your governorship, we really appreciate you, my friend, okay? Gordon, I thank you all, all so much. I'll treasure this forever. And this looks like it would fit, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you all so much in every single way. Good gracious. I'll treasure that forever and ever. Well, you know, uh, you notice they didn't bring me one. So anyway, I'm really irritated. <laughs> so in 2018, uh, we welcomed Dr. Ali Rezai here uh, to run this wonderful facility, um, the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute. Then, Since then, his team has elevated West Virginia University's research statu stature and demonstrated what it is to be a great land-grant institution, sure. taking our ideas to the people. So we lead the world in Alzheimer's research. Um, and the RNI team has also earned national attention for its first in the U.S. clinical trial using deep brain stimulation for treatment-resistant opioid use disorder. So I'm really pleased to introduce a man whom TV's 60 Minute called a master of the mind. Dr. Ali Razai. Ali? Thank you very much, uh, President Guy, and uh, welcome Governor Justice, Speaker Hanshaw, and our distinguished guests to the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute. Uh, as Dr. Guy was saying, since its formation six years ago in 2018, this is a new institute, um, and uh, it's, this institute has become a world leader in neurosciences. And, uh, and an international destination for care of individuals impacted by neurological and mental health conditions. And when it comes to neurological and mental health care, people from all 50 states and 15 countries come here to this building for their care. And it's world-class care that we provide for everybody in West Virginia and across the world. We're also conducting um, groundbreaking research um, that is uh, new discoveries that are making an impact that are tackling some of the most daunting public health problems with first in the world treatments we developed here with our team for Alzheimer's disease, for addiction, Parkinson's, and uh, drug addiction. 
Um, and our rapid progress and success is a result of the support of our university leaders, President Guy, our hospital leadership, Albert Wright, uh, Clay Marsh, Mike Ed, and passion of our R&I team, some of which are in the audience today, without which we could not have doing, we could not be doing what we're doing here today. So thank you all, your team. We have more than 2,000 people here working at the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute. Uh, a critical part in our success over the past six years has been the leadership of the state of West Virginia. And Governor Justice, Speaker Hanshaw, um, our U.S. Senators and the state and local government leaders have provided steadfast support for this institute and provided key resources that position us to be world leaders for addiction and uh, innovations in neuroscience technology for Alzheimer's disease. So people from all across the world are coming here to learn what's going on in West Virginia and how we're doing it to treat Alzheimer's and addictions. Um, and today with this bill, our research efforts are further accelerated dramatically and immediately. We can now expand our ultrasound research efforts from treatments of a drug addiction and Alzheimer's that we have pioneered in this state to now expand that to help people with food and behavioral addictions, as well as people and our veterans impacted by post-traumatic stress disorder. So on behalf of the entire RNI team of 2,000 members, I would like to thank Governor Justice, Speaker Hanshaw, and the legislator for their visionary leadership and support in making West Virginia a world leader in research, innovation, and discoveries, and technology development for the treatments of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, addiction, post-traumatic stress disorder, and many other areas. We're excited about this, and we thank you for your support and leadership. And now it's my distinct honor to introduce a friend of the RNI, Governor Jim Justice. Okay. Let me just let me just speak in the term, terminology that I would speak to you, and speak just down to earth. You know what has happened at WVU is unflat believable. I mean, that's just all there is to it. You know, I think about this a lot, but uh, a long time ago, a little 19-year-old, I think he was 19, you know, at the end he was Cassius Clay and then became Muhammad Ali after that, but he won the heavyweight championship by beating Sonny Liston. And he screamed, I shook up the world. And that's what you've done. You've done this over and over and over and over. To think of the thousands that are employed here, to think of the innovations, to think of one thing, just one simple thing, and that is, and it's been a real pleasure of mine, you know, I see our speaker here and our great senator here, and all of you guys, y'all that just are unflat believable, and all of us have done just exactly just this. We've pulled a rope together, haven't we? We've absolutely believed in ourselves and done something that the whole world is amazed with. You know, I say it over and over. But West Virginians, if they were to use slang, would say, who would have ever thunk it? You know, who in the world would have ever really thunk it? That we'd have Dr. Razad here, or we'd have, you know, and, I, and I've got to say this before I go any further. You know, we have had an incredible president at West Virginia University. And Gordon Gee will be remembered forever and ever and a day. He is a great friend. And he is a champion for this state and this university and has been that forever and ever and ever. You know, I wish to goodness that he could stay for another 70 years, you know, and more and more good would happen and we'd see more and more different designs on bow ties and and you know and and we would all be better for it but uh i absolutely can't possibly tell you anything more than just this you should be so proud you should be so so proud and literally it has been in my dad's terminology because he was in the air force he was a captain in World War II, 
absolutely he left school he went to Purdue University he went in aeronautical engineering and lo and behold came right out of school and enlisted in the Air Force and right off to war he goes now with all that being said he would say it's been an honor flying with you and it really has been you are champions in my book in every way now the only thing bad about this whole deal right here is this great doctor is working on food addictions the baby dog do not take offense for this <laughs> but we're leaving off chicken nuggets for sure but uh, the great work for our veterans and the great work you do every day you know we're gonna do a ceremonial signing of this bill and you know Roger I want you guys to come up here and everything that's for sure and anybody else that would like to but uh, it's been a real honor for me to have, been, to have been able to do what I've done, and I love you with all my soul. Keep doing great stuff. You amaze us all. That's all there is to it. And Baby Dog won't hold it against any of you. But, okay, let's do this. Some of our team members, please come up. Dr. Javier, everybody, ladies, come up, please. Nick How are you doing, young man? Glad you're here, Gabby. Thank you. Kelly. Please, come up, r and team members. God bless you. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter up here. We've got to get 2,000 people here. No. <laughs> okay. Are you sure there's not anybody else left? <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. I mean, you could. You, okay. Mike, Edwin. Here we go. Here we go. This is official. Okay, now, Roger, I'm going to give this first to a man that deserves it more than anybody in my book. And then I'm going to sign these, and uh, Roger, you're going to help me pass pins out, okay? I will. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how many I've got over there, but I'm going to sign with all of them. Okay, we're good. And, Doc, you've got to have this, too. Uh, Roger. <laughs> okay. There you go. It's another one. You can, you can pass these babies out too. Baby, why are you panting? Mm -hmm. Those steps <laughs> petrified you, didn't they? <laughs> okay. Getting nervous about that uh, Benji. Mm -hmm. it is really there you go.
entitles you to a free night at Greenbrier. That's right. Y'all can come and stay all you want. Oh, my. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. No, it's all good.